My name is Randy Engelhardt from Zwickau, Germany, and I'm an intense artist. Mario was coming to me and asked me for doing something together with an, an own color set. But then I sit down at night and I was thinking about a color set. Then I was thinking, okay, intense. Right now, 180 colors around. What I can do better? The best answer is I can't do anything better. And I told him, let's pick, out, pick us out only these colors, what I need, and making a, a color set, what we have already in the set, but we do it like painting by numbers to teach the artist how we can do it better and how we get the real good color for it. That guys, they do portraits, but they don't know how they mix the colors. They can do it, they have the technique to do it, but they don't know about the color. We can help them. And now we can see here uh, my stencil and how it looks when I put a stencil on. Uh, you can see here, for me really important is in the stencil I see already my deepness. The dark uh, places of all the, of my tattoo. I do some cross lines there that helps me to find out a little bit the deepness. It, it is make it the way easier to find out where is everything black or where is the dark tones. Here you can see how I work with skin tones and you already see that I did the medium tones and the dark tones are done. That's why I start actually every time with the medium tones, like the middle brown tones, I shade them in. Then I go with dark tones and shade them in the medium tone because you can do medium tone darker but the darker tone not lighter. That's why I start with a medium one, go into deepness, leave it open there where you have to do it a little bit darker, then go in the dark tone, shade it in the medium tone, and you, if that is done, then you start with the light tone. And that's step by step. Not all the whole faces do, maybe like here, you, I start by the shoulder, I finish that one shoulder, and then I go to the next part. I start uh, tattooing from the bottom because it saved my stencil. I have to wash the whole time, I have to clean it. That's why every time a tattoo has to start from the bottom. Okay, and here you can see I start now with that hair on that, tattoo, on that girl. And also here I start with the dark black tones. And now is it the thing, is it, what is it for a hair color? But black is actually in almost every color about the shadow. And you see here, I start with all the shadow parts on that hair. And in the end it will be a black hair, that's why we need some gray tones in it too. But yeah, the deepness is already in. This here, you can see it already, I put a wet paper towel on it. I put some, some Pantanol cream, like ointment, like Aquatet, whatever, under it. Put a wet paper towel on it and leave it there. That helps the skin goes down, the redness are gone. And that's why you can do better details in a smoothed skin as when it's swollen up. That's why it helps a lot to keep that a little bit down. And even if safe, the dark colors don't push it in the, in the white zones and in the light zones. And here also you see I work with the medium tones and start uh, building out the face with that medium tones, the shadows. And then I will go back with the dark tones and in the end with the light tones again. Only that you guys see it's the same way like on that shoulder before. You can see uh, I start that skull on top of that head and actually it's the same way I start with medium yellow tones there like also brown tones they are like a kind of yellow and I finished all the contrast of that whole thing. Sometimes I use here bluish grayish stuff because the skull have to be a little bit like grayish but in the end, it has to be like a shining skull. That's why it's not easy to handle that uh, shining negative shine like that. But you work with medium tones every time. Start with medium tones and bring the contrast in that skull and then make the contrast darker with a darker tone in, in that. It's the same way actually, but don't start with the dark tones. Even if it's black, you can start with the black because that's, you can't do anything wrong. But on smooth shadows like bones or ankles or whatever, is it better to use a medium tone before you start with the black ones or the darker ones? It's the same way. And then you use the yellow with mixing with white and then only the white in the end of the highlights. Same way, 
every time. It's only about the technique. Doesn't matter as a skull, portrait, whatever. I start every time with medium tones. And here on that clip you can see, I think it is really important to make a tattoo a little bit more moving, like it has to be with the body, it needs a little bit of flow. And that's why I don't cut it off, only put a color behind a portrait, whatever, and only that is that's have to be a color behind. No, make think about it and use the background, play a little bit with it, like an artwork. And that's why you see here, I search for some dots and that makes the, the background is not like cut it off. It's only like a little bit going flow away. And that looks in the end way better than you cut it off a portrait. That give them all the, the whole tattoo a little bit more the flow in that whole area. You can see actually really good, the background is done. You see it, that it's a black hair girl. And you see on top of that uh, clip is all really dark dark bluish, midnight bluish um, colors. And if, if you go down to the shoulder, you see there is a really light, midnight light blue, because you need that contrast to that black hair. You can make a black con a dark contrast if you have dark hair. Every time you have to think about this, that's a tattoo, it's have to be there the whole life. You need to keep the contrast, really, really important. Uh, what you see, I start already from, I'm done with this 80% and now I go back from up to down again with all these small highlights. For this I use three liner needle and with the white or with dark blacks, but now I do the sharp things. That stuff what's way in that focus of the picture, it have to be sharp and really clean. And all what's going in the background, don't do that with sharp lines because the background have to be a little bit blurry, a little bit out of the focus. That's why the main focus here is the hand and the face. A little bit of that skull, but hand and face is the main focus. That's why I work there right now with that three liner and make all these sharp white lines and, uh, and black lines to keep that contrast in the middle of the details. And right now here on that clip you see the finished tattoo after all the highlights and yeah I think now you see how it works with that color sets. And that uh, in that uh, tattoo portrait thing you see actually that's a brown tone skin color. It's a white girl but all brown skin tones. And that's what I mean. It's three different skin tone levels in that in the white people uh, thing. But there you can see brown tones. All the colors what you use to create a tattoo like that, you can find it in that new set. That's brown tone colors, brown skin tone colors, and black hair colors. Everything is in that set. Okay, thank you for watching me tattooing this. And I think I give you a little bit of inspiration to buy that set and to dry it out. I hope you enjoy the work with it. And it helps you to get better and better. Thank you.